Should we be tolerant of the recent revival at Asbury and all the things that have flowed from it? Hi, my name is Ken Yates from Grace Evangelical Society, and I would just like to discuss that topic for a few minutes. Myself and others have voiced our concerns about what recently happened at what we can call the Asbury Revival. Um, we're accused, at least sometimes, of being intolerant uh, because we speak out against the things that we have seen. And we're encouraged to be more tolerant, to accept those things with open arms. The first thing that I would like to point out is that those who are preaching tolerance are often intolerant themselves. For example, when they hear the things that I and others have said, some have even gone so far as to say that if we have any problems with what's going on there at Asbury, then we're not even believers. That sounds pretty intolerant to me. They would also say, I think more commonly, that what happened at Asbury is a mighty work of God. The Spirit of God is moving in our society. And when people like me and others speak out against it, we are doing Satan's work, or at the very least, we are hindering what God is trying to do uh, in, in America and in other places around the world. We see a parallel of this, this, this idea that people who preach tolerance are themselves intolerant in some of the things we see in our culture. For example, when um, someone says, I don't want you to refer to me as the pronouns of my birth or, or my sex, and people will say, well, we need to be tolerant of that. We need to call them whatever, uh, or they need to be able to use whatever pronouns they want to use. But if you say, well, listen, I feel uncomfortable with that. Uh, I, I, don't want to use, I don't want to use those pronouns when I refer to you. They attack you and they are intolerant. And so what I'm trying to say is that those who attack my views and others' views about what we see going on at Asbury, and they say we need to be tolerant, are often intolerant themselves. And let me just say, they should be intolerant to my views. Because what they say is going on at Asbury is that people are speaking in tongues, and that gives them a deeper experience with God. There are people who are oppressed by demons, according to what's going on there, and they're being liberated from that. Uh, the Spirit of God is setting them free from this oppression. And the gospel that they preach is one of repentance, one of turning from their sins or, or turning from one's sins and confessing your sins and calling upon the name of the Lord. And what they're saying is many people are coming to faith uh, through this revival, and they're doing these things that are necessary uh, in order to be eternally saved. If all those things are true, if people are speaking in tongues and having a deeper experience with the Lord, if people are having demons cast out and are being set free from Satan's power, if people are doing the work that is necessary by turning from their sins in order to be saved from hell, then they should be intolerant to what I say, because I disagree with all those things. I and others preach a gospel of eternal life that is completely free by God's grace. You don't have to repent you don't have to call upon the name of the Lord. You don't have to confess your sins. You simply need to believe in Jesus for eternal life. And if what is going on at Asbury is true, and I tell you that you don't speak in tongues to have a deeper experience with the Lord, or you don't need to have a demon cast out of you, then I am robbing people of close communion with the Lord. I am robbing people from the, or I'm trying to, 
rob people of the opportunity of being set free from Satan's power. So if they are right, I should be opposed and they should be intolerant to what I am saying. But if they are wrong, they need to be called out upon it because they are teaching a gospel of works. And a gospel of works is contrary to the teachings of the New Testament. And they are teaching a false spirituality, which says that we can come together and speak in tongues and cast out demons. And we don't need to worry so much about the doctrines of the scriptures and study them. And so what I'm saying, if they are wrong, that's what they are doing. They are the ones robbing people of intimacy with the Lord because they are basing that intimacy upon these emotional experiences. One of us is preaching a different gospel, and one of us is robbing people of the opportunity of getting to know the Lord more intimately. And this is important stuff. We need to be discerning, because the people of that revival, Christ died for them. We need to tell them the truth. The people at Asbury and people like me, we cannot both be telling the same, we cannot both be telling the truth. One of my favorite or probably my favorite teacher, a man by the name of Zane Hodges, he spoke about the age in which we live in. And we live in an age where people are calling for tolerance. And here's what he had to say. He was talking about the little book of 2 John, and he says, In a tolerant age, we must learn a true measure of holy intolerance. If the people at Asbury believe that what they are doing is the true gospel and that it is telling people how to have a closer relationship with the Lord, then they should be intolerant towards the things that I and others have said. But the same is true if what they're teaching is not the truth. We should not call for tolerance on this, but we should call for what do the scriptures have to say. If you've liked this video, I'd ask that you would press the like button at the bottom of the page. And if you really liked it, I would encourage you to press the subscribe button. And remember, keep grace in focus.